so welcome to all of you uh, on this channel okay and today we will describe the TLC system in full way okay so come in the first slide so it is my first slide in this I have discussed that it is a type of chromatography technique okay and used to separate non volatile mixtures okay so basically what is your chromatography in chromatography what is your separation of compound ka, okay so this technique is done by separate non volatile mixtures okay so is by with the help of this chromatography you can separate the non volatile mixtures okay so uh, and it is uh, the next point to explain that it is performed in a state of an inert substance and it these inert substance may be glass plastic aluminum foil uh, which is coated with a thin layer of adsorbent material usually is, uh, it can be silica gel either al silica gel or aluminum oxide okay or cellulose okay and this layer of adsorbent is known as the stationary phase okay so in this uh, paragraph uh, it is uh, saying that uh, the coated material this is the coated material on the glass plate this is this may be either aluminum foil okay or glass plate or other material okay so on this um, glass plate suppose that it is the glass TLC and so in this the this phase is called stationary phase okay and this stationary phase may be a variety of compound may be either silica gel okay or aluminum oxide or cellulose okay uh, okay so depending on uh, which type of TLC you are using so a lot of uh, means uh, in biochemistry several types of TLC is used but basically if you see in the organic chemistry so you can find only the uh, silica silica gel okay so this is the box of silica gel powder okay in this uh, dry powder comes and it is mentioned that it is silica gel okay so different size of silica gel uh, uh, is uh, different size uh, sorry for that different size, size of silica gel is uh, uh, present and you can find from several industries uh, uh, provided that okay and this is uh, the size is uh, included in mesh okay so it may be 200 mesh uh, 160 mesh 260 mesh like say 300 mesh okay so it is the uh, actually uh, it is the actually a uh, very minute powder but uh, the graph is i think it is taken from the tgr other other uh, instruments so this size uh, appears larger okay so okay so comes on the next slide next slide so in this practically uh, if you see the stationary phase uh, we are talking about this stationary phase so in this stationary phase if you see this one this is the uh, if you see this one this is the this phase okay so chemically what is this so if you see this uh, this this structure a uh, chemically structure is this one okay means uh, it coated with silica polymer okay so a uh, different size, size of uh, silica gel is uh, present and uh, these adsorbent adsorbent means uh, we are talking about the stationary phase okay mix with water or other material okay so if you are uh, if you are mix silica powder with water or other solvent then it is called slurry okay and different type of si different types of silica gel is present like silica gel H okay depending on their uh, chemical composition okay so uh, if you talk, talk about the silica gel H then it is silica gel with outer binder okay silica gel G in this calcium sulfate is included uh, along with silica gel okay silica gel GF it is silica gel binder and fluorescence indicator Aluminium, cellulose powder, casel guhardi, diatomins, earth and binder. Okay, so there are lots of these types of uh, chemical compound present in this. Okay, so basically these calcium sulfate or you are talking about uh, other bind. So these binds the silica uh, powder. Okay, so next slide. Uh, if you see the next slide, actually this this one is the slurry. If you if you see this this uh, this is the slurry means it containing the silica powder plus water okay so uh, so uniformly uh, this plate is prepared for the experiment okay first of all uh, preparation of slurry takes place and after this uh, you will dry in the oven or other uh, heating instruments okay so after 10 or 15 minutes if you are put it there it will uh, it will dry and uh, you can use like that okay for the next experiment so next slide we will come here 
so after after that if you are going to do experiment means if you are going to take TLC so first of all cut the piece of uh, cut the piece of paper because uh, cleaning um, cleaning condition is very necessary for that okay so cut the TLC like that okay and uh, on one uh, one bottle one small bottle you will uh, you contain uh, means take the acetone okay acetone or DCM like that and two uh, uh, two bottles should be the your solvent system okay so this is called a uh, capillary tubes and it is it should be very fine okay because uh, the if capillary is not fine then spot will be larger it is not very important uh, not significant for you so take the fine capillary and spot it on the baseline it, this is the TLC and first of all you mark the, on the baseline okay so this is the baseline and upper upper you will mark the as uh, solvent font okay so if you see I have so this is the method how you can put the spot okay so one in one time you will put put the material on the baseline okay so next uh, if you talk about the uh, so suppose that uh, your ex if you are going to perform this experiment so before this uh, after this one if you if means if you spotted that spot then what will you do this is the mobile phase okay so it may be either hexane or ethyl acetate means it is the mixer of a uh, hexane or ethyl acetate and it may be a methanol or other solvent system okay depending on the uh, chemical nature of your compound okay so this if you see here this is the spotting line this is the spotting line okay this is the TLC plate and TLC chamber this one is the TLC plane and please remember that your TLC uh, TLC chamber will be closed okay otherwise your spot will be move on the TLC okay so uh, if you see here this is the solvent system and uh, uh, if after first of all if uh, this spot if you are putting if you are putting this spot okay then after some time uh, some minutes you can say these because it is a mixture of compounds it, it so it will separate okay in the individual components so like that okay means the this compound containing two compounds okay this mixture of compound containing two compound okay so compound a b if you see here is very nicely separated okay so it is the function of uh, tlc and uh, it this mixture may be containing several types uh, means five or six compounds so like that it will be separated okay so RF value if you talk about RF value and in this slide I have also added that on completion of the separation each component appears as spot separated vertically okay so these are the vertical uh, vertically uh, this compound has been separated out and each spot uh, we are talking about these spots these spots having a own RF value okay a specific RF value or you can say retention factor okay so how you can calculate so it can be calculated by distance traveled by the sample and distance traveled by the solvent traveled by the sample means this one okay so this is the this distance you this is the baseline and from baseline to this one okay so if you are me if you are going to measure the RF value of this compound then baseline to this one calculated and um, okay you can calculate the distance between this and distance this is the baseline this is the solvent front so you can calculate this region okay so you can easily you can calculate the rf value so next point i have also mentioned that the factor of fatigue retardation factor or the solvent system okay amount of material means you should be a uh, you should be spotted very uh, dilute you very dilute to material okay and if you are means if uh, if you are going to use concentrated material then your separation will be not fine okay uh, okay so on the next uh, adsorbent and temperature so it it will also affect it for sep uh, separation of compounds so tlc is one of the faster least expensive simplest and easiest chromatography you can see that you can easily uh, prepare tlc and uh, can separate okay so it is very fast least, least expensive simplest and easiest chromatography techniques okay so next we will talk about the so i have also mentioned some slide uh, some structures and you can uh, this is the baseline and uh, in this two spot is spotted okay so the if you see here the these spot containing three three compounds and this spot containing also three compounds okay 
this compound containing four compounds and this one containing three compounds okay so if you see a uh, means if you want to uh, a <clears throat> more rf value between two between two spots then it is the five minutes taking okay so if you put 10 minutes then it will uh, separately we it will separate very finely okay mean distance between these compound will be higher okay so similarly if you if you are putting more time after 15 minutes it, it will cross this one line okay so okay so it is the matter how you can calculate the rf value and what is the factor okay so this this one okay so in this i have also means your uh, there are some precautions means you will put it one uh, glass plate either glass plate or other uh, material means uh, the system will be closed okay otherwise this this spot will be like this will not not straight it will move like that okay zigzag manner you can say okay so uh, TLC majorly if you see this one I have uh, mentioned here that polarity means these below material will be very polar and above material will be non-polar okay so if you see here cholesterol ester so ester will be uh, non-polar as compared to these materials so it will uh, move up, up okay so in this if you see a uh, free fatty, fatty acids so fatty acids are more polar so it it is present in the below line okay so similar so it is the some concept uh, means how you can uh, do the TLC and which manner these spotted will be separate out okay so next uh, if you see see here uh, so it is the same uh, same and in this if you see here this system in a starting it is not closed system okay so if you see here it it these spot not move straight okay it will move like that okay it means stretching type of uh, phenomenon takes place you can say okay so this is the RF value okay so RF value will be like that 0 0.38 like that 0 0.48 okay so okay so huh the there are uh, one important thing is that this compound is if you see here this is the stationary phase okay so stationary phase containing SiOS this is the polymer okay so why polar compound exist below so it is the region if you see here this is the SiOH okay so in this OH is the polar uh, polar molecule you can say okay so it interacts much more from these okay so that's why for interaction with the stationary phase it remains below while your non-polar compound will uh, remain above okay so it is the method how you can uh, separate and what is the phenomenon proceed uh, during the TLC system for separation of compounds okay so next uh, if you see suppose that um, suppose that uh, you can separate means uh, your experiment is completed and uh, uh, you will aware aware from that that your mixture containing two compounds okay so how you can further separate so there are different chromatography and such as uh, column chromatography through column chromatography this plate if you reverse this plate means red will be below like that so it will come in the first in the uh, column chromatography after that it will be come okay so so eleven there are two silica gel here silica gel is called adsorbent means this material is called adsorbent stationary phase is called adsorbent and uh, at, at and this adsorbent adsorb the mixture of compounds strongly okay so it is the uh, adsorbents and the other thing is eleven so what is eleven so your eluent is uh, eluent is called your solvent system in which you uh, you can say your mobile phase okay so okay so travels to the adjoining so means this uh, stationary phase helps for moving the your mobile phase okay so okay so i have uh, i think you will be understand what uh, we will huh, next next is next point is there adsorbent are typically much more polar okay then eluent the more polar a compound from the mixer is the more strongly it adheres to the adsorbent and the slower it moves okay means this uh, paragraph is explaining that uh, uh, adsorbents are typically much more polar than eluents okay so these since this stationary phase is much polar as compared to uh, your solvent system which are using okay so the more polar a compound from the mixer is the more strongly binds okay 
so means it adds you can say or it binds polar compound more strongly as compared to non polar okay so this is the reason for why it is a more polar compound comes below okay so the more polar the eluvent is okay the, the more polar is the eluvent the less strongly a compound adapts to the adsorbent okay so if you are using more polar compound suppose that huh, if you are more if you are using more polar compound then what happen here so more polar if you are if you are using eluvent more polar then your compound will separate move above okay because it helps to move above okay means the uh, the you can say the binding capacity of adsorbent will be neglected by that okay so okay so next slide a uh, this one so here uh, so here if you see this is the a uh, closed system up uh, you can say this is the tlc system and in this if you see this is the spot so this uh, this is spot what happened here if you are putting concentrated spot then your uh, your compound will be not separate finally so it comes look like that okay so please uh, spotted very dilute sample on the TLC plate okay so so due to uh, so by which uh, these circumstances will be not happen with you so it is the some spots uh, will be chaired by the uh, different staining regions okay and it may be either k 4 or para initial dehyde or K there are PMA like that okay so for different compounds in organic chemistry or biochemistry different regions is used okay so only uh, if your experiment is completed then spraying the reagent and heated this okay so your spot looking like that okay so you can easily separate these isolated compounds okay so basically uh, suppose that uh, I have also explained one explained by taking one example suppose that you are synthesizing 10 essential oil okay so how you can separate so like way like that you can separate these spots okay so these individual spots containing the individual material okay so so I have also explained these are these are the some compounds okay you can separate with the help of TLC okay so okay so like that okay so i think uh, you will be understand the full explanation of tlc so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe the channel okay